Welcome back, Lord David. I trust everything's gone smoothly here. No problems, my lord. Good to be back. Something going on? Hey, Rush. Dad? Since when were you awake? It hasn't been very long. I figured I'd surprise you. Sorry for making you worry. No. I'm just really glad you're okay. I suppose this means you were able to dispel Wagram's magic. Hmm. Rush, I need you. Sorry, Dad. I can't stay in chat. We'll catch up later, okay? Rush. Um, there's something I wanted to ask you. Sorry, kiddo. Can it wait? Um, yeah, I guess. Hey, Arena. <gasps> Rush! Mr. David! What are you looking so surprised for? You wanted to talk, right? Yeah, but... My apologies, but an urgent matter requires our presence at the Congress. If you don't need him, I'll be borrowing your brother for a bit longer. W wait I heard that the Conqueror was still alive. Is Rush... Are you still going to make Rush fight? Mr. David, I really appreciate you helping Rush and me. But please, you have to let Rush go. You can take me instead. What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about saving your life. How can you talk about keeping me out of danger and then walk right into it yourself? I can help you with this, but only if you let me. You... I don't want you worrying about this kind of stuff. Rush, go get ready. I need to speak with Arena. Fine. You know that Rush only wants you to be safe. I know, but... Don't be foolish, Arena. You're just a normal girl. Me? Normal? Even with that terrible power I have? Just forget about what happened in Nagapur, all right? Nagapur. How am I supposed to just forget that? You cannot. And should not. The terrible things are all the more necessary to remember. You can end this nonsense. What are you doing here? Even if you knew you could not prevent me from reaching my goal, that is because I...
I'm off to the Congress. Wait for me at the Embassy. Rush. I'm certain Irina would appreciate it if you got her something. In matters of the heart, actions speak louder than words, you know. What's he going on about? I'm... I'm not... <sighs> So, the blessed buns are out. You really think she's interested in buns? <clears throat> You're back surprisingly early, my lord. Not to speak ill of the dead, but without Hermione, things move a bit more smoothly. Congress Chairman Gore has given Arthlam its orders. We are to stop the Conqueror at any cost. This is about some remnant finding resonance oscillating waif thingamajigger? Mm. This was a top secret project of the Academies, was it not? Remnants emit a wave undetectable by the naked ear. However, there is a remnant that can sense these waves and use them to pinpoint a remnant's location. So... The Conqueror clearly aims to take possession of every remnant in the world. Our task is to get there and protect them before he can. I see. That's why this information was declassified. Pretty important mission. Yes. We'll have to keep our wits about us. Rush. I'd like to ask your parents' assistance with this. Will that be a problem? Uh-uh. I'm sure Mom and Dad would be happy to help. They will return to Arthlam immediately. Get ready to move out. Yes, yes my lord. What's going on? It looks like the tracking remnant has already arrived. So this is the remnant. When will we be able to put it to use? Right away. I assume the lights represent the general locations of remnants. Yes. Right now, it's set to search only the Athlam area. This light, here, must be the Gay Bolg. That would be the case. With a little more time, we can expand the detection range to the entire world. We can't pinpoint the exact location of each remnant, but we can get a general idea of where they're located. You have done more than enough. I am grateful for your assistance in this matter. It's my pleasure. Although, we'll need a little more time to work out the kinks. About what you mentioned earlier? I think we can specify the range if we change this thing here. Hey sis, didn't expect to find you here. I heard they needed all the help they can get, so I decided to make myself useful. Don't be stupid. Just stay away from remnants, okay? You're like a danger magnet when you're near them. But there's a reason I'm doing this. You have to trust me, Rush. You don't know what I went through when you were gone. I can't go through that again. I won't! 
Rush, calm down. Hey! Years ago when I was just a kid, Mom and Dad suddenly decided to go to the Academy and left me in charge of Arena. After they left, I took her to the woods nearby and left her there. I told her I'd come back for her later. She was always their favorite. I guess I was kind of jealous. I just wanted to scare her a little. It wasn't far from the house, so I figured she'd come back on her own sooner or later. I was wrong. And when it started to get dark outside, I got worried and ran back to get her. She was still in the exact same spot I'd left her in. Just staring at some flowers. She was waiting for me to come back. All alone in the dark. She didn't doubt me at all. That's when I realized something. I had to protect her. I decided never to betray her again. You better not mention this to her. She's not a child anymore. You mustn't act like a babysitter. Oh yeah? Well how am I supposed to act then? You must treat her with respect, as a fellow adult. Let her know she can count on you. Respect, huh? Sounds... deep. I bring a message from Chairman Gore.
The session of Congress will commence immediately. That's it? This is nothing unusual. They always seem to be held on the spur of the moment. Will you be heading to Illusion? If that's the case, could we send someone with you? I want to report our progress to the Academy. Very well. Who shall it be? Let's see. Who should I send? I have an idea. If you don't have anyone in mind, how about sending Arena? Arena's been through a lot. I, I think she's proved she can handle something important like this. Sounds like a plan. If it's all right with her. Arena, what do you say? Yes, of course I'll go. Thanks, big brother. Uh, yeah.
Stronger! <laughs> 